Well, hello there. My name is Mike Simmons, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a logo just like this one right here for free without using anything uh, that you have to pay for, like Photoshop or anything else. We are going to make our logo over at a site called PicMonkey.com. And PicMonkey is entirely free. They do have a paid upgrade version which they have some cool stuff you can get for about 30 bucks a year but it's entirely optional you can do all this stuff for free which we are going to do you can edit your images touch them up make a photo collage but we're going to use the design function I'll hover my mouse over design and I'm going to click on this custom size right here I'm gonna make our logo 600 by 400 now you won't want your logo probably that big on your website of course it's better to make it a little bigger and you can use it for other things and then you can make a smaller size of it too if you want I'm just going to click on make it over here on the left I'm going to click on these little uh, capital T and little t for the text then I'm going to click on franchise for the type of font I've already used that before and click on add text now we'll have our little text box over here and when you hover your mouse over there you'll get these little four uh, arrows which means you can hold down your left mouse and drag this around and then I'll hold my mouse over at the end of the text and then I'll hold my mouse over on the other side and drag the text so it's a little bigger and then I'll type in my desired text which is zesty eating then I'm going to have the cursor at the end of the text and then I'm going to hold my left mouse down and drag to highlight the text and then right here where it says size I'm going to increase the size and you can actually increase the size beyond that I'm going to highlight it again and then I'm going to increase it even more oops I forgot to highlight all of it I'll hit control Z and back up again undo and redo right up here at the top too highlight that text again then I'm going to make it even bigger just so it stays on the page there we go I'll click my mouse outside the text now I can drag it around by holding down my left mouse I'll center it on our page right here so to speak and I'll click outside and I'm going to add text again and I'll drag that to about like this and I'll click inside there and I'll type in our tagline and I'm going to hold my mouse down, my left mouse down, and highlight this. And I'm actually going to make it bold like that. And then I'm going to make the size a little bigger. And I'll actually just click outside it and drag it so it's a little bit longer there. Now I'm going to highlight the text. Actually, you just have to click inside the box and it'll highlight the text. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger like so. Okay, now we have our main text and our tagline. Let's add a little icon right here, just like I did right here on this one. My icon is going to be white, so what I'm going to do actually is change this to the same color somewhat as the background color is going to be on my site that I'm using the logo on. I'm going to click up here to Basic Edits, and I'm going to click on Canvas Color, and I'll click inside here to make it a little bit darker blue of some sort, just like that there. Now I'm going to click on this little butterfly for overlays. I'll apply the canvas color. We're going to take away this background color anyway when we download our logo, which will just have no background. It'll be a transparent image. This will make my white icon easier to see. So I'm going to click my own from my computer. And I found the icon on my desktop. And now I'm just going to drag it right here. I'm just going to make this a little smaller like this by holding my left mouse down and dragging this inside and then I'll position it right about here there we go and now I'm going to come up here and click on this basic edits again I'm going to click on crop I'm going to crop everything you just hold your left mouse down and drag this around just like this and I'll make it just like this okay and now I'm going to click apply over here on the left there we go now I'm going to apply those colors that I had for this logo right here to the different letters of the Zesty. So I'm going to click my mouse inside here, then highlight the Y, then I'll find a somewhat uh, similar color as I used before. Well, something like that, just for demonstration purposes. I'll try to make it a purplish color. There we go. And let's see, I have a green color for the 
T. I'll click inside there and then hold my left mouse down and highlight the T. And we'll make that a greenish. And I'll click inside there again and highlight the S. There we go. And let's see, I'll make that one a yellow for the E. I'll click inside here and highlight the E. We'll make it a yellowish color. Okay, there we go. There's our logo. And now we can save it to our computer. But before we save it, we're going to click on Canvas Color. And right here, we're going to put a check in this box which says Transparent Canvas, just like that. Now we'll save it to our computer. And then you can just navigate to wherever you want to save it and name it whatever you'd like. And that's how you make a logo for your site. Now I would suggest, I'm going to click Cancel. After you save this bigger logo, I would suggest saving it again. Where it says Dimensions right here, you can just click on Change. And then you can make it a little smaller size if you'd like. Say it'll proportion it just like that. And then you can save it to your computer again. That way you'll have several different sizes. You can save four or five different sizes if you'd like of the same logo. And another cool thing about PicMonkey is you can come back later. You can click on this edit right here. Then you can navigate right to wherever you have your logo saved. Just like that. Open it up and you can edit it again and make it, you know, save it to a larger size or smaller size. So very handy, very cool site. You can do a lot more than just make logos at PicMonkey. So you can play around with this site if you'd like. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up down below, and leave any comments or questions you have down below the video also, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and while you're at it, go to my WPHowTos.com site, and subscribe there too. And as always, keep smiling, and keep on keeping on.